So what is ref cursor? It's a reference cursor. Okay. A reference cursor is a data type. Okay. It is a data type that holds a cursor value in the same way that varchar2 variable will hold a string value. Same way. Okay. So how? So how the varchar2 will hold a string value? Same way you can have ref cursor, reference cursor also. A reference cursor can be opened on the server and passed to the client as a unit. So as a unit, okay. So it is not one single, single record. As a unit, you can open and fetch one row at a time. And you can use the ref cursor inside the block, okay, inside the PLSQL block, okay. So reference cursor is a PLSQL data type whose values is memory address of the query. So query work area, so cursor is same way, right? Work the memory address of the work area in the database. And you can see here, so how can I define the ref? See, I have given explanation just to go through. What is the syntax of declaring the ref cursor? See, if I want to declare the ref cursor, you have to use the syntax here. Declare type. So this is the keyword, okay? So these, these things you have to remember. Uh, so how can I remember all this? Yes, you have to do multiple times practice, practice. So then only you can able to remember. In the declaration part, you have to declare. See, this is same like how we will do the data type. How we have defined already. Varchar data type, number data type. The same way, the one data type we are defining. Type, and this is cursor variable name. Yes, a ref cursor. This is the return return type. See, this is optional one. This is optional one. If you are using this, if you are using this return return type, then this cursor will become strong ref cursor. Okay, if you are using return return type, it will become strong type ref cursor. Any ref cursor which has a fixed return type is called strong ref cursor. Remember this. If you are using this statement in ref cursor, then it will become a strong type ref cursor. If you don't use this, then this cursor will become a weak type ref cursor. So weak type ref cursor are those which do not have any return type. Okay. So there are two different reference cursors are there. So that is nothing but strong type ref cursor, weak type ref cursor. Okay. So how can I declare it? Yes, this way you can declare it. See here. Is this strong type or weak type? It is a strong, correct. Okay. So why? Because we are defining return data type. Correct. See, if you are using mobile number, mobile number is where care data type. Where care of, where care two of, some data type you are defining. You assume that. What is this mobile number? It is a variable name, right? What is this one? It's a data type. The same way, this is nothing but a variable, local variable of type. This type is nothing but ref cursor, strong ref cursor. Got it? So type, this one, we are using the keyword ref cursor. So this is the way we have to use. Okay. So this form of cursor variable called strong type of cursor because the cursor variable is always associated with a specific record structure or type. Okay. So how to do it? So this is what we will go for. How can I go for ref cursor? That I will, I will, uh, we will do it here. Instead of going for two different tables, we are, we can use one simple ref cursor. Okay. So I will remove these statements. First, uh, we will go for, I will remove all. Okay. So first we will take declare. Declare data type. Begin and end. Okay. So I want to define a reference cursor. So how can I define the reference cursor type? So this is, I can take ref cursor. Shall I take this way? This is the cursor name, right? This is the cursor name type. So type cursor variable name is ref cursor. That's it. 
if I'm not using any return data type. So this will become, this will become a weak type ref cursor, reference cursor. So what is it? See why we are going for reference cursor? So dynamically, we want to assign a select statement inside the begin and end. Previously, we have defined two different select statement, right? Two different select statement. We have written one select statement for employees, one select statement for departments. We are hard coding the select statement here. Instead, we can define the cursor, declare the cursor here. Within the begin and end, we can use the select statement. We can dynamically use the select statement. Okay, so how can I take See that record type you have to use, right? We have to use this reference cursor type. I want to go for some employees data. Okay, so I can use, okay, I will use ref cursor underscore employees list of type this one. If you want to use for departments. Yes, you can use one more variable the same way. Okay. So you can use whatever you want. So employee type, uh, departments type. So all this you can use on the same cursor itself within begin and end. So within begin and end, we have to open the cursor, right? So open the cursor. You can take open the cursor name. See, it is, uh, it is giving the, the reference, right? open cursor name for select statement. See, always you have to use how the reference cursor we have to open, right? If you see this, I have explained here. Always you have to use, okay, so you have to use for, so while opening, you have to use this way. See, ref cursors are opened with and open for, okay, you have to use open cursor variable for statement, open cursor variable for select statement. I want to select uh, first name. Okay, so first name you want to select. See cursor, it, the select statement itself here only I'm defining. I'm not defining in the declaration part here itself. I'm not defining. Here only I'm defining. Okay, in the begin and end only we are we are defining. Open. Then we can go for looping. So I will take loop and end loop here. Loop. End loop. Fetch. Into. I want name, right? V first name. This V first name I have to define here. You can use, for an example, you want to use V first name, employees table, that particular data type. Yes, you can use it here. Okay. So I have used here into V first name. Exit when. not found, we are defining the employees data here. End loop, here open, right? Close, this one. See, normally we will write select into, no need to use here. So here itself, we are defining the cursor, right? No need to use that into. So I'm going to just execute for only for employees table. See, employees table, has taken okay now i will go for the same way for department table okay this way i will go for department table so open the same cursor you can take no issues but i can use different statement i can use department name here from department table department table loop into V department name. But this one we have to declare 
not found in loop close it okay so before opening i will make one dbms output here we are closing the cursor here we will make this is department details single quotes so i will take the same one i will go for before opening i will take this is employees details okay so i'm going to execute this department name from departments output statement change v first name so i'm going to execute now i'm not defining two different cursor in the declaration part i have defined only one cursor okay i have only one cursor but this cursor i have used here okay with two different statements two different tables so that's what see but all these are doing the same type of operations only okay it depends on the uh, functionalities you can use this is employees details so you can iterate all the data and you can get all the data here see this type of coding definitely they will write in real time project when they are getting more data to iterate it they will write this way so what it will do so it will open the variable here and then it will fetch all the data okay next one will go for strong type ref cursor so how to do the strong type ref cursor see it's very uh, simple again the thing is you have to make that's a simply a data type declare begin end we have to write this way ref cursor ref cursor normally if you if you are writing this way this will become weak typed right we have to write a return return data type see what is the return data type we can write we can go for employees percentage row type so what is this we have seen already this is it will take entire employees data all the row type it will take say for an example it will define in this way so it will take this way so each and every columns it will take okay the data types and then this is the one right we can use this particular data type we can define so employees list so reference cursor this is variable that's simply we will write the same variable right employees ref cursor this variable i have defined with this particular type of this cursor and i will go for the fetch statement same way you can define open cursor for select since you have used entire table data type you can use star star here okay you can use star here it will fetch all the data from the base table all the columns it will store it in the variable here in the plsql block star from employees no need to use var class here so since we are using cursor you can use looping statements end loop and inside the end loop the same way we have to use this way fetch this is the same one we have taken into v underscore employee name so which one i have to take employee name we are not going to take only one particular column we can take entire row okay so employee row exit when this is not found dbms output see this dbms output only whatever we want to have this column say for an example i want to have employee name right the employee underscore name 
you can put single quotes. V underscore list dot first name. Yes. The employee salary. Salary. So this is the entire row, right? Entire row. First name, then salary. See, all this you can take one by one, all the columns, whatever you want. End loop. So after end loop, we have to close the cursor. So don't forget to close the cursor, okay? Okay, some error we are getting. Oh, we haven't defined. This one we haven't defined. This is nothing but the employee's percentage row type. It is taking all the employees details. Okay, one by one, it is taking all the employees details. Okay, I want to go for, so can I use the same way I can, uh, can I go for departments table? Yes. But the thing is, you have to define departments row type here. If I want to go for departments here, I have to define departments here. Strong type, rep cursor. I hope you are clear. So how the cursors will be defined one by one, all this. 